Good afternoon. I'm Hannah Thibodeau. Welcome to CBC News Network. And we are going to begin this hour in Bedford, Nova Scotia, where a student is in custody after three, two people were stabbed at a high school. Police gave an update earlier today about how things unfolded. At 9.20 this morning, um, police were called to the C.P. Allen High School for a weapons complaint. Uh, officer, officers arrived on scene and quickly took one youth uh, in custody who is a student at the school. Officers located three people who were injured. Uh, they've all been transported to hospital uh, for treatment. And at this time, the extent of the injuries are unknown. The CBC's Natalie Collada has more details on this story. So um, I just got off the phone, in fact, Hannah, with Halifax Regional Police, who tell me that a student has been taken into custody after they say three people were stabbed. Now, this happened at Charles P. Allen High School in Bedford, Nova Scotia, shortly after nine in the morning local time. It's about 20 minutes outside of Halifax. You can see it on your screen there, give you an idea of what we're, where we are in terms of what we're talking about here. Now, the high school is a big one, about 1,700 students. And according to a spokesperson for the school board, Two of the injured individuals were staff members. Lindsay Bunin saying that the staff were taken to the hospital after being injured in, quote, an incident with a student who did have a weapon. Now, she said the third person who was injured was the student. Now, CBC, as you're seeing on your screen, has obtained video filmed by a student showing two people being taken out of the school in stretchers, placed into ambulances. They appear in these videos to be awake. However, police saying the extent of their injuries is not known, and we are, of course, waiting for an update on their condition. CBC has also obtained another video filmed by a student. It appears to show a person being placed under arrest outside the school. Officials with the school board said the incident started in the office of this high school, saying that the youth was then arrested in the yard. Now, police asked the public to stay away from the area. The Halifax Regional Center for Education said the school was placed in a hold and secure after the incident, and it has now been closed for the day. Now, a letter, they also say, has been sent Two parents and officials from the school board saying supports, things like counselors, psychologists, will be made available both for staff and for students. Have a listen. We're deeply saddened um, and, and shocked by this situation and all of our hearts go out to the students and staff, especially in their families right now at this very difficult time. And, um, and we will be supporting everyone in the coming days and cooperating with police as, as they complete their investigation. So that investigation, Hannah, is ongoing. We are waiting for word as well if there will be school tomorrow. Very much a developing story happening there in Bedford, Nova Scotia, as we said, just outside of Halifax. That's the CBC's Natalie Collada. We've reached Constable Nick Gagnon of the Halifax Regional Police, and he has been providing updates on this story. Constable Gagnon, thank you for joining us on the program today. Thank you for having me. Uh, Constable, let's start first. Uh, what time were police alerted this morning about this incident? So at approximately 9.20, uh, we received uh, the weapons complaint to the local high school. And what was the official complaint? Uh, it was a weapons complaint um, to the local high school. Um, the officers arrived quickly uh, and arrested the suspect. And where did they arrest the suspect? You know, uh, as you can appreciate, it's it's early on in the investigation, and those aren't details that I can release at this time. Now, what we heard from the school is that the incident happened in the office and the suspect was arrested outside. Is that correct? Can you confirm what the uh, school was telling us? Like I said, uh, in order to protect the investigation, uh, I wouldn't be able to elaborate on those details. Okay. Can you confirm then how many have been wounded and who is in custody? So officers located um, three people who were injured uh, and we can confirm that one of those uh, persons injured uh, is our suspect. And are they all in hospital? They are all being treated uh, in hospital at this time, correct. And one of the things again that we've, we've uh, heard is that all three had stab wounds. Is that accurate? That's correct. And it, it, how are they doing in hospital? Do you have any update on that? So um, at this time, um, we do not have uh, any information on the extent of the injuries. Okay, and for the suspect, um, is the suspect, uh, what age is the suspect? 
wouldn't be able to uh, provide that, uh, but the suspect is a youth who is a student at the school. And I'm assuming then under 18 years old, that's, that's probably as far as you can go. That's correct. Okay, and is this person, has this, has the suspect been known to police in the past? That's not information that I can provide right uh, at this moment. As you can appreciate, it's a complex investigation uh, and, it, and it's in its very early stages. Yeah, absolutely, I understand. Um, and then there is, they did close the school for the day. There's no further threat to the community, is that correct? That's correct. And do you know at this point in time, and I know the school was going to update as well for parents uh, to know when the school reopened, have you heard those details? You know, any, any further information in regards to the school, I would encourage you to reach out to the school board. Okay, we will for sure, and we will give that to our audience as soon as we, we get those details. Now, are police still on the scene at the school? Yes, uh, people can expect to see uh, police there for the majority of the day as we uh, conduct the investigation. We still are on scene, yes. And what includes part of that investigation? Is it speaking to students? Is it speaking to teachers? Uh, those types of things? Yes, you know, it's, it's a very complex investigation. There's a lot of moving parts and, and that's part of it, correct. Yeah, how long do you expect police to be on site? Just for understanding the mechanics of an investigation. You know, it's it's difficult to say, but it's going to be a large major, uh, part of the day, uh, for sure. Right. Uh, when the call came in, um, how close is, are, is the police to the school? Because it came in, I think it was at 9.20, and police were on site at 9.31, I believe it was? That's uh, what time the suspect was arrested, correct. Yeah, so that's a pretty fast response to that call as well. Um, when you arrive on site, what type of, and again, just trying to understand the mechanics of what happens in this type of call for police, how do they respond to a situation like this in general? Well, you know, what, what I can tell you, it's, it's uh, an incident that we take very seriously, you know, and, and we work very closely with our stakeholders, uh, school administration, school re uh, response officers, uh, in order to, you know, address and prevent these incidents before they occur. Unfortunately, uh, this incident occurred today, but I think our effective response really speaks to the uh, relationship that we have with our stakeholders. Yeah, I very much agree with that. You you solve the situation very quickly. Uh, one of the things, do you expect the student to be charged? You know, that that's all part of the investigation um, and we're in our very early stages. Uh, but, you know, once we have updates, we are providing them as we uh, as they come in. And do you believe that the student will remain in custody after released from the hospital? Again, you know, it's it's part of the investigation right now. Uh, I wouldn't be able to provide detail on that. Yeah, okay. And just finally, is there anything else that you can provide, you know, viewers for information about this incident? You know, like I said, it's an incident that we take very seriously. We understand that the community is concerned and, and you know, we're going to remain on scene uh, as long as necessary to conduct the investigation. Um, and we thank the public for their cooperation. Yeah, absolutely. And just before I let you go, this was the day students were returning from March break. So very difficult, you know, to see this happen. Will police be there, you know, or some outreach when students return? We will have a continued presence at the school. Okay. Uh, Constable Nick Gagnon, I know it's difficult in these situations to provide the information as well up to when an investigation is ongoing. So I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, thank you, sir. Constable Nick Gagnon of the Halifax Regional Police.